Hi, good evening. Today I'm going to talk about mango ripening. There are two ways a mango can be ripened. One is natural process and the other one is artificial process. The stuff what I'm going to t talk to you in this segment may shock you and our uh, customary practices are putting human health in danger. This is a mango season and you have to be careful when you buy mangoes and you need to know some skills to differentiate a mango which is ripened naturally, a mango which has been ripened unnaturally through chemical processes, through poisons. Fruits are one of the best natural food usually consumed raw. Nowadays, fruits are deliberately being contaminated by chemicals, causing serious health hazards. Among the pre-treatments, which are mostly followed for fruits intended for better consumer acceptance and facilitated better marketing is artificial fruit ripening. Artificial ripening is done to achieve faster and more uniform ripening characteristics. However, ripening in general is a physiological process which makes the fruit edible, palatable and nutritious. In nature, fruits ripen after attainment of proper maturity by a sequence of physiological and biochemical events and the process is irreversible. Whether fruits ripen on the plant or after harvest, the general changes associated with the ripening process is softening of the fruit, change in color, and development of characteristic aroma and flavor. There is also reduction in sourness and increase in sweetness of a fruit. Usually, fruits produce ethylene gas, a plant hormone naturally that ripens the fruits. This is actually happening in nature. Ethylene gas is produced to induce the ripening of a fruit in a tree. Unsaturated hydrocarbons such as acetylene, ethylene, etc. can promote ripening and induce color changes effectively. Although the cosmetic quality of such artificially ripened fruits was found to improve organoleptic quality was impaired especially when harvested fruits are subjected to treatment without considering their maturity status. Besides, the quantity of ripening agent required to induce ripening for better cosmetic quality, including appearance, will be much more than conventional dose when properly mature fruits are not used for such purposes. With the development of fruit trade, the fruits are sent to distant places requiring several days in ordinary or refrigerated transportation and only firm and mature fruits are least damaged during marketing. The fruits are ripened at the destination markets before retailing and ends artificial ripening has become essential. The most commonly used chemical for artificial ripening is calcium carbide. The chemical 
formula is CaC2 calcium carbide and is popularly known among the business as masala though banned under PFA rules 1995 and also under food safety standards regulations 2011 made there under calcium carbide is colorless when pure but grayish white to black in color otherwise with garlic like odor when it reacts with water it produces acetylene gas popularly referred to as carbide gas which is an analog to ethylene actually nature produces ethylene to induce ripening but humans artificially produce acetylene to induce ripening so which is an analog to ethylene and quickens the ripening process it is said to have the same effect as ethylene the natural ripening hormone however acetylene is not nearly as effective for ripening as is ethylene and acetylene is not a natural hormone as ethylene calcium carbide contains traces of arsenic and phosphorus hydride a strong reactive chemical calcium carbide has carcinogenic properties and is used in gas welding being cheap and easily available in the local markets cac2 calcium carbide is indiscriminately being used in preference to other recommended practices of inducing ripening the fruit fruits ripen with calcium carbide are overly soft are inferior in taste and flavor they also have a shorter shelf life the fruit ripen with calcium carbide may develop uniform attractive surface color but the tissue inside would not be ripe or may remain green or raw when calcium carbide is used in very raw fruit the amount of the chemical needed to ripen the fruit has to be increased this results in the fruit becoming even more tasteless unhealthy and possibly toxic calcium carbide is a dangerous and corrosive chemical carbide ripened fruits on consumption cause several harmful effects to human health as discussed earlier calcium carbide has cancer causing properties and contain traces of arsenic and phosphorus hydride the early symptoms of arsenic and phosphorus poisoning include vomiting diarrhea with or without blood burning sensation of chest and abdomen thirst weakness difficulty in swallowing irritation or burning in the eyes and skin permanent eye damage ulcers on the skin sore throat cough and shortness of breath higher exposure may cause a build up of fluids in the lungs consumption of fruits ripened with calcium carbide causes stomach upset because the alkaline substance is an irritant that erodes the muscle tissues in the stomach and disrupts intestinal functions as calcium carbide imitates acetylene gas it may affect the neurological system by inducing prolonged hypoxia that means low oxygen reaching the blood and tissues the fast ripened fruits contain harmful properties because calcium carbide contains traces of arsenic and 
phosphorus and the production of acetylene gas as a hazardous effect on human health it may affect the neurological system by inducing prolonged hypoxia which causes headache dizziness mood disturbance sleepiness mental confusion memory loss cerebral oedema that is swelling in the brain caused by excessive fluids and seizures calcium carbide is banned in many countries because it has carcinogenic properties and hazardous effects examples of fruits and vegetables where artificial ripening by use of calcium carbide is generally practiced mangoes bananas papayas and sometimes sapota known as chiku dates and tomatoes so you see the most of the stuff what we love to eat they are ripened through artificial ripening through calcium carbide so be careful out there it is your body and your health we are talking about and uh, inquire about the product at the place where you buy and um, designate a seller who brings organic fruit and we can believe that seller and we can buy from them make it a habit of buying from one seller and uh, tell him you don't want any uh, fruit which is ripened by calcium carbide you want only organic fruit which has been ripened through the natural processes save your health love the mango eat mangoes but be careful mangoes are good for your health if they are ripened naturally they are very bad for you they become poison for your health if they are ripened through the artificial process enjoy the mango season bye